The EU has long had serious issues with road congestion and air pollution, with many cities on the continent suffering from the negative effects of population explosion. To combat these issues and to make the content easily navigable, a tunnel project has been commissioned to connect Scandinavia in the north with the Mediterranean in the south. Hello and welcome to yet another exciting video. In this episode, we will tell you all you need to know about the $11 billion tunnel the EU plans to develop to link Scandinavia with the Mediterranean Sea. Here we go. The EU is developing what it calls the ScanMed Corridor, which will run from Finland in Northern Europe all the way to Malta in the south. The tunnel will run through an overhead bridge that crosses a sea in the Danish capital of Copenhagen instead of completely passing through the torturous Alp mountain ranges. Travelling through the Alps has been one that many had to make for decades, but all that seems to be coming to an end if the corridor is completed. To resolve the difficulties of travelling through the Alps, the European Union had given a seal of approval for the construction of an $11 billion tunnel through the very heart of the mountains to connect the north to the south for easy travel. One of the parts the tunnel will cross is called the Brenner Pass that sits about 1,371 metres above sea level. The pass is the lowest range passage through the Alps and it is motorable throughout the year. On this pass lies a railway that was built in 1867 to improve transportation of humans and cargo. By the 1970s, the railway was joined by an E45 motorway to create a major route for traffic moving towards the North Sea and all the way down to the Mediterranean. As of the time of making this video, the Brenner Pass handles more than 40% of freight passing through the Alps. Unfortunately, due to steep slopes that impact the performance of trains, more than 60% of freight is transported by road. This massive movement of cargo along with human movement along this part has led to serious vehicular gridlocks along the route. The noise, traffic and poor air quality has been unbearable, so much so that in 1994 the EU chose to take action. To do so, several plans were laid on the table. One was to modify the rail lines, but this plan was not feasible. So therefore, decision makers in the EU decided to commission the construction of a new railway tunnel through the mountains in dramatic fashion around stereo inclines and twisting routes that slow down the speed of trains. According to the map released to the press, the tunnel will start at Innsbruck, Austria and connect Italy's Forteza, which will be the main route to the Brenner Pass tunnel that runs for 54 kilometers. The Innsbruck Bypass Tunnel, which was built in 19 1994 will connect to Brenner Bypass Tunnel and by the time it is complete it will be the longest underground tunnel in the world. The tunnel will be 64 kilometers long. In addition, it will bypass Switzerland's Gotthard Base Tunnel. Overall, the project will consist of exploratory tunnels for gauging the conditions of the route before actual work begins. The exploratory tunnel will also act as a special drainage system. There will also be twin tunnels that will lie 70 meters apart to carry trains in both directions with four extra lateral access tunnels for surface connection and for waste removal. The planners are also taking things a step further with plans to connect both tunnels every 333 metres and three emergency service stations constructed 20 kilometres apart to provide travellers with emergency access routes. The project started in 2008 and excavation work on the four sites has been ongoing for more than 10 years. As lofty as the plans may be, constructing a tunnel through mountain ranges is no small feat. It involves a lot of digging and the the route has four different types of rocks resting on one of the longest fault lines in Europe, so for engineers to make headway, a lot of blasting and boring is required. The sections that will be earmarked for blasting will be loaded with explosives stuffed into drilled holes, then detonated. After the blasting is done, loosened material will be removed by heavy machinery in a process called mucking. After clearing the debris, a substance called shotcrete will be applied into the holes to create surface and anchor stability. Subsequently, reinforcement mats and lattice arches will be installed to give structural support. This process is replicated every step of the way. With an interior diameter of about 8.1 meters, the project will have about 21.5 million cubic meters worth of debris excavated, but one third of the material will be recycled and reused as concrete to reinforce the tunnel. The remaining debris will be sent to the five sites across the route for sustainable disposal. Some parts of it will also be used to fill some areas for future reforestation and landscaping. The tunnel is expected to be completed in 2028, which will be about 20 years after the start of the project. 
At the end of completion, the Brenner Base Tunnel will accommodate trains that can reach top speeds of 200 km per hour and the journey from Innsbruck, Austria to Forteza will take only 25 minutes, unlike the 80 minutes it currently takes travellers. Europe has a serious pollution problem, so the Brenner Tunnel will therefore provide the continent with a sustainable transport link not only between Austria and Italy, but from Scandinavia all the way to the Mediterranean. The pollution crisis came to a head when a report concluded that one in every eight deaths in Europe is linked to pollution. The report was published by the Environment Agency of the EU. The report pointed out noise and air pollution as major factors. Poor water quality and chemical exposure were other factors linked to about 13% of all deaths on the continent. Poorer communities were the most vulnerable, with local populations hardest hit by pollutants. The report found out that there were about 630,000 premature deaths attributed to environmental factors as at 2012. Of this lot, air pollution was the greatest contributor, causing about 400,000 deaths, while noise pollution caused about 12,000 deaths. The remaining indices were linked to rising heat waves. Many people in Europe are exposed to extreme weather and poisonous air, with significant populations working and living in exposed areas. The worst hit are those who live very close to routes with vehicular traffic. Europe's hardest hit countries will consider the development of the Brenner Tunnel as a welcome development. Currently, countries suffering from the worst form of pollution leading to deaths caused by environmental factors are Norway, Iceland, Bosnia and Albania. Countries with the worst mortality rate caused by pollution are Montenegro, North Macedonia, Serbia and Romania. Even in countries like the UK, 12% of deaths are linked to environmental pollution as socially deprived populations across the continent battle to protect themselves from harsh weather climates and man-made pollution. So many will see the new tunnel as a welcome development as Europe strives for a more sustainable environment in all member countries. Not only will the tunnel facilitate the free flow of human and cargo transport, it will also reduce the gridlock experienced in some of Europe's busiest highways. As for the funding to complete the project, that will not be an issue for obvious reasons. Europe is arguably the richest continent on Earth. Despite the economic struggles of some of its member nations, the EU has been able to come up with the funds to push the development of the tunnel. Since 2004 till the current day, there have been no experience of funding issues. Secondly, EU nations are committed to seeing the project through and member nations where the tunnel will pass through have put modalities in place to ensure that their transport policies fall in line with continental regulations. So what do you think about this humongous European plan? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. With that, we'll bring this to an end. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to view more of our amazing videos. Oh, and do hit the bell icon to remain updated about all our future videos. Till next time, adios!